in this problem uh, we are given uh, the duration of uh, different songs so uh, we will have an array and we will have the duration of songs for example the duration of first song uh, may be 10 seconds duration of second song may be 100 seconds third may be 40 and so on so these are the different durations and uh, we have to find uh, the count of song pairs for example in a pair we have two values i and j so let's say we pick this 10 and here let's say we had some song with duration 50 at some index then if you add these two durations then you will get 60 even if it's uh, let's say uh, 110 still if you add these two you get 120 and modulo of that is 0 so that is divisible by 60 so you have to return the number of such pairs in this array so let's see an example so in this example we have 0 1 2 3 4 so total we have 5 songs and these are their durations so what are the different possibilities so if you add this 30 uh, with uh, 150 then the sum is 180 which is divisible by 60 similarly with 30 we cannot uh, pair it 30 with any other song because 30 plus 20 is 50 this is 180 which we have already taken then 130 not divisible by 60 then uh, 70 not divisible by 60 so next is 20 so 20 and we can pair it with 100 and 20 we can again pair with 40 so these are the three pairs that are divisible by 60 their sum so uh, one thing is that uh, we have to return the number of pairs so in uh, an array of length l we will have how many pairs o of n square pairs or n multiplied by n minus 1 by 2 pairs which is o of n square so we can have two loops for i equal to 0 to uh, last minus 1 because i is the first index so it cannot go to last and j remains from i plus 1 to last and then see whether their sum is sum modulo 60 0 or not but this will take o of n square time and this is the exhaustive way this is the naive way and in most cases uh, we are able, able to optimize the solution so in this case we will see if we can do it in less than o of n square or can we do it in o of n or can we do it in o of n log n all of these values are less than n square so in this uh, optimized solution we will see an approach with o of n time complexity so the idea is that one thing you will notice that if you add 10 plus 50 this is 60 which is divisible by 60 similarly instead of 50 you have 50 plus 60 or any multiple of 60 still it would be same so whether it's 50 it's 110 170 all of these are similar because we have 50 plus some multiple of k times 60 because if you take modulo this entire thing will become zero so no matter what value what multiple of 60 you add these are insignificant so one thing we can do is to simplify the problem so let's take the same example we have 30 20 uh, then we have 150 100 and 40 and our results were 30 plus 150 so instead of 150 we can subtract multiple of 60 so it can be 90 still more than 60 again subtract uh, 60 so now it becomes 30 so 150 is as good as 30 similarly 100 is as good as 40 this 40 is already less and these numbers are already less than 60 so now we are done so instead of this original array we will be interested in an array whose values are uh, from 0 to 59 we are taking modulo because this adding 
any multiple of 60 does not make any difference so it would be easier to work with lower numbers 150 modulo 60 is 30 100 modulo 60 is 40 and again 40 so if you find the number of pairs with uh, sum whose uh, which is a multiple of which is a multiple of 60 in this array then it will be also true for this array now we know that all the values lie in 0 to 59 range so what we will do we will have a kind of map whose size will be 0 1 all the way up to 59 and we will see how many 0 are there how many 1s are there all the way up to 59 so in this case it will be 20 is occurring one time rest all will be 0 by default all the values are 0 but we are iterating this array and we go at that index and increment its count so in this case the first 30 so it will be incremented here somewhere 30 it was 0 so it will become 1 so 30 is once 20 20 is 1 30 again so increment the count to 2 then 40 2 times rest all are 0 so now we have 20 is 1 time 30 is 2 times and 40 is 2 times this is the count we can store it in counts vector of size 60 all other counts will be 0 now uh, let's see a few things like let's say we have uh, 5 numbers or take a smaller example 3 numbers whose durations are uh, let's say 10 so if 10 is paired with which value so that it becomes uh, uh, divisible by 60 it will be 60 minus 10 that is 50 it can also be 110 then in that case it will be 120 but we have already reduced it to less than 60 so it has to be 50 so if we have 10 and let's say 10 is occurring three times at indices uh, i j and k and 50 is occurring two times at some other index indices let's say index x and y so this this side we have 3 this side we have 2 so this 10 and this 50 can form a pair so that pair will be i x this 10 and this 50 can also make a pair so it's i y similarly this j can make a pair with this x so j j x and similarly j y and similarly this k can make a pair with this x so kx and ky so we have six such pairs so what how how did we get this we don't need to exhaustively list all the possibilities we can simply multiply three times two and we get six so now we have count of all the values from 0 to 59 so you will say that we will get to 0 and we will see uh, so there is a special handling for 0 so let's ignore 0 for now let's say 1 so let's say 1 is occurring 5 times then what we are looking for 59 because 1 will form a pair with 59 0 will form a pair with itself so 1 is occurring 5 times and 59 is occurring 0 times so 1 cannot form pair with any number so 5 times 0 is 0 so again we are doing the same things count 1 multiplied by count 2 now let's say 2 is occurring 3 times and uh, now we are looking for 58 58 is occurring 5 times then we will have 15 pairs using these two so we will go all the way up to uh, 29 why not 30 because again for 31 we will have 29 so we would have already taken care of that so we will go till half halfway and not 30 30 again will have a special handling because 30 will again pair with itself the same way 0 will pair with itself so if you ignore 0 and 30 and keep iterating this array you would have found all such pairs 
excluding the pairs formed using 0 and 30. So let's see this example. 20 is occurring 1 times, 30 is occurring 2 times and 40 is occurring 2 times. Again now uh, let's see what will happen for 0. So for i equal to 1 to 29 what we are doing result let's say we are storing it in counts array which will be of size 60 from 0 to 29 result equal to or result plus equal to we are adding to it counts i multiplied by counts 60 minus i so this will do but we have excluded the case of 0 and 30 now let's see how to up add the cases corresponding to 0 and 30 to this result so let's say we have five numbers at indices uh, i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 which is already modulo 60 that is 0 so this is equivalent to so in this case if we do 5 multiplied by 5 it will be 25 which is not true because this number because we are writing this i1 i2 i3 on the left side and again we are writing i1 i2 i3 on the right side so i1 cannot pair with i1 i1 can pair with i2 so this is same as let's say there are five people and everybody has to shake hands with every other person so it's like five choose two or 5 multiplied by 5 minus 1 by 2 which will be uh, this is 4 so 10 so for 0 and 30 same for 30 so if we have uh, some uh, durations which modulo 60 is 30 then they will form pair with another 30 so the same thing will happen there so at the end of this we will write result plus equal to counts 0 multiplied by counts 0 minus 1 divided by 2 plus counts 30 multiplied by counts 30 minus 1 divided by 2 and we are done we have taken care of all the cases so what should be the time complexity here so one is creating this count array so for that we have to iterate this entire array so that will take o of n time and once that count is generated we are doing it fixed number of times that is 1 to 29 and then 0 and 30 so o n plus some constant which will be o of n and the space so this is time and space we are using uh, this uh, count which will be of size 60 so it's O of 1. Now let's uh, implement it in C++. So this is the counts with a size of 60 and initialized to 0. And then we have to iterate through this list and update the count. this i and uh, duration of this array can be more than 60 so we will we will take modulo 60 and it, it will come from 0 to 59 so a valid index in this counts now this counts array is ready and we initialize our result to 0 So again we are starting from 1 because there is a special handling for 0 and 30 i less than 30 plus plus i counts i multiplied by 60 minus i because i and 60 minus i form pair now we will add the cases for 0 and 30 
and let's see so we have to also return the result so this test case works now let's submit and the solution is accepted so if you understand the logic writing the code is very simple in this case and uh, you have if you don't understand please uh, go through a few more examples and convince get convinced that it it works and it takes off and time so see you in the next video